If Jesus came to my house and knocked upon the door, I'm sure I'd be more happy than I've ever been before. If Jesus came to my house, I'd like him best to be about the age that I am and about the height of me. I'd run downstairs to meet him, the door I'd open wide, and I would say to Jesus, Oh, won't you come inside? I'd offer him my rocking chair, it's such a comfy seat, and at the pleasant fireplace, he'd warm his little feet. My kitten and my puppy dog would sit beside his chair, and they would be as pleased as I at seeing Jesus there. Then I would put the kettle on to make a cup of tea, and we would be as happy and as friendly as could be. I'd show him all the places that are nicest in the house, the hole behind the stairs where I pretend that I'm a mouse, the little window up above where I can stand and see the people passing down below, and yet they can't see me. And then I think I'd show him the corner in the hall where I'm sometimes rather frightened by the shadows on the wall. I always have to hurry when I'm going past at night, but hand in hand with Jesus, I'd be perfectly all right. I'd show him round the garden and ask him please to bless the seeds that I have planted, the peas and watercress. And if the flowers I'd planted were blooming on that day, I'd pick a bunch of all the best for him to take away. Then while he held the basket, I would gather two or three of the ripest rosy apples from my special apple tree. And all the little birds would come and twitter up above for joy at seeing Jesus in the garden that they loved. And then we'd play all with my toys, my nicest toys, of course, and he should have the longest ride upon my rocking horse. And with my bricks, I'd build for him a palace of his own, and he should be the little king and sit upon the throne. And when we'd done, we'd stack the toys all neatly on the shelf, but first I'd let him choose the best and keep them for himself. And when at last the day was done and shadows crossed the sky, I'd see him to the garden gate and there we'd say goodbye. And he'd perhaps say, thank you for a lovely afternoon. And I would say, I do so hope you'll come back very soon. And then he'd smile and wave goodbye. And so would end our day. But all the house would seem to smile because he'd been our way. I know the little Jesus can never call on me in the way that I've imagined, like coming in to tea. But I can go to his house and kneel and say a prayer. And I can sing and worship him and talk with him in there. And though he may not occupy my cozy rocking chair, a lot of other people would be happy sitting there. And I can make him welcome, as he himself has said, by doing all I would for him for other folk instead. And though the house is dark at night with shadows on the wall, I never need be frightened when I'm going through the hall. And although I cannot see him, I still can feel him near to understand and hold my hand and drive away my fear. The flowers in my garden he may not pick himself, but someone else would like them upon his mantel shelf. So if I know of anyone who is old or ill or sad, I'll take them there for Jesus' sake and help to make them glad. I still can share with Jesus the nicest of my toys by lending them or giving them to poorer girls and boys. And though he may not visit me as I have wished he would, yet even so, he'll bless my house if I am kind and good. <laughs>